The topic today is where is the immune system and tips to boost it. And this is very important, um, very, very important considering the times that we're in right now, what we're all experiencing um, and, um, you know, what we're uh, <clears throat> advised to protect against. However, nobody really discusses the immune system and um, <clears throat> we're not powerless to the external world. We are, um, in fact, have a lot of control over our inner world and um, the state of our immune system and how primed it is or how adaptable, that's the key word, how adaptable it is to change. Um, most often there is a, more susceptibility to getting illness during this time because of lack of adaptability. So being adaptable is a key, key thing to priming the immune system. Um, a sudden change of weather from like sunny nights and then all of a sudden, you know, indoors more, driving more, more pollution because we're inside more, <clears throat> all of that um, lack of sunshine. So all of that um, is something that we need to, that we not all of us can adapt to as easily. And then there's more susceptibility to, of the immune system. So adaptability is a big one. So once you know where the immune system is, and then we can, it makes so much sense when you know you can't unknow it. And <clears throat> it makes so much sense to then um, um, know, tools to to help it and enhance it so it's just about knowing i think once you know knowledge is power um and so it's all about the knowing so um i apologize for my voice um i had a little bit of asthma yesterday and I'm not sure why um but usually when that happens then my voice is a little bit more hoarse the next day so hopefully it's not too muffled <clears throat> but um where is the immune system? So those of you who have been following me for quite some time, following Brio, um, patients of Brio have taken courses um, like uh, the Mastery of Metabolism course, which I know one, at least one person watching has taken it, um, which is amazing. Um, go into a little bit more depth in there or any of the seminars I've done about, about town or blog articles, you'll know what I'm about to say. So <clears throat> the immune system is really what fights um, and it helps us from the external world of um, bacteria, <coughs> parasites, fung fungus, anything foreign to the body. And our immune system is what helps to detonate it and help it to, when it's in the body, helps to detonate it. Um, and get it excreted out of the body. And so if it's usually with an immune mediated response, it's usually um, through a various amount of chemical processes, um, but our immune system is primed and it's working for us 24 seven. We are surrounded by millions, trillion, billion, millions, billions of bacteria and virus a day. I'm not naming anything specific, but that's just the reality. Um, it actually helps shape our immune system, helps prime our immune system because when we're in contact with it, our immune system is always auto-regulating and self-regulating and keeping itself adaptable. So um, that's, that's just a necessary part of reality. So our immune system is basically 80% of our immune system is located in our digestive system. So 80% is in our gut. So it's known as Peyer's patches or gut associated lymphoid tissue, which is GALT or Peyer's patches. And so that is our lymph system. So 80% of our lymph system. So you know when you get sick, your tonsils get swollen, down here can get swollen, feel, can feel really tough to swallow. Um, even back here can feel it. Um, if you ever get like a cut or an infection on your finger, the lymph nodes under your, uh, under your arm can get um, swollen and infected. If there's anything, women, you know, as you know, if there's anything going on with breasts-wise, um, fluid retention or anything more, 
anymore, cysts, anything. Um, if you're a breastfeeding mom and there's um, a backup of the milk duct and there's an infection, there'll be um, swollen lymph nodes underneath the underarms. There's quite a heavy amount here too. If anyone um, has go undergone any cancer treatments and they've removed lymph nodes from here, you'll know, know exactly what I'm talking about because there can be swelling of the arms. So our lymph moves a lot of fluid. And then there's a high, high amount in our digestive system. Obviously there's more, but in the lining of the small intestine, the pyrus patches and the gut associated lymphoid tissue. So this is what helps us to detonate and excrete and move toxins out of our body is to keep the lymph system primed, which is primarily located in our gut. So what does that lead us to? That leads us to treating our gut at, like gold during this time. Um, during this kind of upcoming flu season where I think it's going to be a bit dicey for people who are not certain of what symptom matches what, um, do, does the common cold flu match, you know, what's currently going on in our world today, um, I think there's going to be a bit of confusion and the more we can, um, prime our immune system, the more, um, the more the immune system will kind of like get at it quickly and the less severe the result of uh, uh, anything um, affecting us will be. So it won't be like two, three weeks of a cold. Um, your immune system can kind of kick it maybe two, three days. So it's not that we never want to get sick. We do want to get sick. Um, it's, it's like taking your car to the mechanic once a year you have to prime it you have to oil change it you have to have that mounted response for your immune system so to not get a cold or a flu um, is really not a symbol of great health um, you want to get sick once a year or if you're really really like have a quite a tremendous immune system. It can be once every other year. Um, I still get something every single year. Usually it'll help my throat or my lungs. Um, <clears throat> often it won't wipe me out enough to take me off work. And if my immune system has to do it, somehow I've trained it to do it on like Saturday, Sunday, and by Monday I rest and I'm good, good to go back to work. Um, and a fever is a mounted response. It's an immune mounted response to get out of the system, whatever is there. And you need that heat, that uh, hyperthermia to get, uh, over, get your immune system highly primed and um, get over what, whatever the foreign um, uh, bacteria, virus, fungus, parasite, whatever is kind of, not parasite, but <clears throat> Uh, bacteria, virus, whatever it's trying to get out quicker. So I know we've had a lot of fear about a fever. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the fevers because that's a whole other topic. And um, just note to be smart about it. If the fever shoots up super, super quickly, you might want to be worried. And I'm only talking about adults here and, and who are under the care of a practitioner. Kids is a different story. I'm not going to give you any tips for your kids right now. But if you're an adult with pretty good immune system, <clears throat> when you have a fever, it should be a high, high fever. 12 hours later, it should be, um, it should start to resolve. Um, and, and that's a great fever. But if it's like three, four, five days of a fever, that is not an ideal efficient fever. It should be like pretty high fever and then resolve. Um, quite quickly within the 12 hours or maximum 24. So if it lingers, it could mean that you just have a very, very bad cold flu, but also your immune system might need some priming. So in the years to come, you can work on, or the months to come after cold flu season, you can still work on your immune system because I think we should be working on our immune system 24 seven. I know I do, um, our, our patients are treating their immune system, whether they're coming in for hormones or loss of hair or whatever it is, but you can't treat the body without treating the immune system. So we're treating their immune system 24 seven. Um, and usually they should be not as susceptible during to be wiped out for like a month or so during the cold flu season because their body is adaptable and they've been treating it for the entire year. <clears throat> so I think cold flu treatments should be 24 seven, 
12 months of the year and not wait till October 1st and then start to think about, you know, taking a few things. I don't think health works like that. That is still trying to take the magic bullet medical model and use natural supplements to in within that model. It doesn't work like that. The preventative model doesn't work in spurts or bouts. It has to be long-term consistent. And that is one of the biggest reprogrammings because I think we we're taught that, you know, you just, you don't have to work for your immune system. And in this day and age, that's absolutely not true. Um, yes, we have an immune system, but with all the systems in place in the outside world and the effects that they have on our body, we have to work on our immune system every day every single day so that's the major fallacy is that we get swept up into the r romanticized version of treating the immune system with the magic bullet cure which is like one two months um, that's the medical model versus the preventative naturopathic model <clears throat> and i would say even in the supplement world, they will try to do that too. So you'll go down the supplement um, aisle and they'll have like some natural cold flu formula, um, some stop, stop um, virus flu homeopathic, whatever it is. Um, but that's still trying to do the magic bullet um, model, um, which is the disease model, which is our medical model, which is awesome for uh, treating diseases um, in acute states like asthma attacks or, you know, um, cuts, surgeries, um, heart attacks, all that stuff. It's, it's incredible. Um, but for long-term wellness, that's not what it's designed for. It's not a wellness model. So trying to take a uh, natural product and plug it into the disease model is not going to work for your immune system. It's just totally a fallacy that we've been sold. And a lot of practitioners will buy into that too because that's what people want to hear. And it's not going to work. Like, that's just not how it works. So you have to work for your immune system. It has to be an ongoing, never-ending process. Are there going to be days and weeks that you fall off? Yeah, but you get back on. And so in August, if you're not so good with your immune system practices, it's no problem. But if you did the best you could for the remainder of the 11 months, that's great. Um, but it's not like you do nothing all year and then you focus on your immune system and rush in and it's like... Somebody's got to treat my immune system in October 2nd and then the rest of the year, nothing's really done. It, it's very difficult to do that. So having said that, that means cultivating an amazing, amazing relationship with your gut. And um, so treating your gut like gold. Um, and that means usually uh, you want to have to ensure regular bowel movements every day because that's how we excrete toxins. So making sure that you have a regular bowel movement every day, <clears throat> making sure that you urinate every day. But the urination should be high quality, not too concentrated, um, pretty clear when it's in the toilet, so you're drinking enough water, you're hydrated, which also helps your bowel movements. But most importantly is probably how you treat your gut and what you eat. So if you're on a lot of pharmaceutical medications, whatever the mode of action, wherever it's for, it's going to affect your gut and your liver. Um, so working with someone to help you combat any effect that anything can have on your gut or liver. If you've taken medications in the past, like Accutane, those have an effect on your gut. If you've taken a lot of antibiotics as a child, like me, um, it was almost like probably like three times a year. And I'm not sure if this is true, but apparently one round of antibiotics, it takes your gut like almost a year to fully recover from. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I know long-term repeated treatments, especially from a young, young age of many, many courses of antibiotics, absolutely has an effect on how your energetic gut develops and the immune system is always compromised. The immune system, um, meaning you know cold flu whatever but if it's deeper immune system dysregulation it can lead to a whole host of health issues and in the future lead to um, an autoimmune disease so immune autoimmune means yourself is attacking itself 
because the immune system has been so dysregulated for so, so, so long and it doesn't know how to mount a proper response. It does not know how to fight what's coming externally um, and it's been totally dysregulated and usually, I don't want to generalize, but usually um, when someone comes in in their 40s or whatever, 50s with um, autoimmune, I, I can almost guarantee that they had a horrific health when they were a kid, like lots of strep throat, lots of ear infections, tons of antibiotics, um, and their gut was energetically totally dysregulated as they were growing up. And it just sets the stage. You, you can almost like recount what's gonna happen. So if there's been a lot of antibiotics, a lot of pharmaceuticals, having someone guide you to help really heal your gut it is the best way to do it. And when you don't know what the undercurrent of your health world is, like how things got to where it is, and you just pop in supplements here or there, it's gonna be like minute differences. But I'm talking long-term, setting the foundation of health. Um, that's really what you wanna do. So as a cold flu season approaches, you're not even phased by it because that's your life. It's so ingrained in how you work. So if you know you've had gut issues, gas, bloating, you've had bouts of diarrhea, constipation, have heartburn all the time, have to use antacids, that is totally shutting down um, a vital part of your immune system because acid in the stomach is there for a reason. It helps break down food properly. It helps break down the protein particles properly. Um, and it helps us release minerals to help um, enhance uh, enzymatic reactions in our immune system. And also it kills anything external that we eat, viruses, bacteria. Um, oftentimes that's our, one of our first lines of defense is the acid in our stomach. So if you've been on prolonged acid suppressing medication, I really would encourage you to get deeper, deeper help for this season. Um, this is not really a, a talk that's gonna be like, buy this, buy those four supplements. That's just for immune system that's never worked for me. It doesn't work for me. And yes, you can have little things that enhance, but I'm talking like you gotta set the foundation first. So, you know, if your toilet's not, um, flushing properly and it keeps backing up and the bathroom totally stinks, but you just go in there and spray like Febreze um, once or twice a day. That's the analogy of not doing any foundational work for your body and then just taking a little bit of some vitamin C or something once or twice a day. <clears throat> it, it can help. It takes the smell away for a little bit, but we're talking about foundational changes. So if you have gut issues, have had years of um, medications, all this stuff is not grown out of, as they say, we grow out of things. We don't grow out of it. It just changes shape over the years. Um, you're not gonna present with, um, um, you know, strep throat every single year. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll switch from that childhood illness and then you'll get something later like um, uh, allergies or food, food sensitivities or something like that. Or, you know, that's where, um, maybe the acid stuff started because the gut has been off all your life. So it, it's, it's deeper than that. And yes, that immune system stuff can help, but you really got to do the work on your gut. And if your stomach acid levels are off, you have to figure out why. Um, I can tell you most often that when a person has stomach acid levels that are off, it's usually too low stomach acid and they feel that burning. And that burning is, um, because there's not enough stomach acid and it, it won't close the esophagus. So the esophagus won't close um, to denote to that there's food in there and um, to do to, to its breakdown of foods and proteins and particles. Um, and it kind of stays open all the time and then it will get that burning. So when you have high prime stomach acid when you are eating food, um, it is one of the best lines of defense for your um, immune system. So I would say treat your gut like gold, number one. Number two, really, really balance your stomach acid levels, enhance them, work with a practitioner that will normalize them, get you off any um, acid suppressing medications. That is really horrific for the immune system. And then, um, it, most people don't know this, but number three, I would say is breathing. So 
there's four roots of elimination. So anytime I see somebody come into my office, I'm always enhancing their emunctories. So emunctories are roots of elimination. If we can't get toxins out of our body, our body can't self-heal. And everything is about self-healing, self-cleaning. Um, the body knows best. Um, you don't have to help the body breathe. You don't have to help, help the body digest. You don't have to help prime the immune system when everything is up to par. It can get bogged down when we can't uh, eliminate toxins. So one of the biggest things I do is, uh, in my practice, the foundational thing is um, enhance among trees. So the among trees are breath, perspiration, bowel movements, and urination. <clears throat> if one of those are backed up or not efficient, we will have a huge, huge um, storage of um, toxins in our body, and it'll dump into skin, it'll dump into the gut, it'll dump into the brain, um, and that's where we start to get symptoms. So when you start to open up the among trees, the person will start to feel better, and then their immune systems will start to enhance. So every single patient coming in, <clears throat> we're enhancing their immune system, whether we're talking about it or not. But one of the main among trees is the breath, and we um, we can eliminate 70% of toxins through breath. So it's a huge among tree. And what are most of us doing right now? We're highly stressed during this time, and we're I bet you most of us are holding our breath or very very shallow breath. So if you just spent maybe. 10 minutes a day or start with even 10 conscious breaths a day um, there is a huge difference in the elimination of toxins it doesn't have to be anything crazy like breath of fire or yogic breathing or anything like that i'm talking very simple deep diaphragmatic breaths so you breathe in and you exhale completely and you breathe in and you exhale completely you can breathe in and hold it for three seconds and then you exhale and hold it for three seconds if you're not doing that <clears throat> it is blocking 70 percent of toxin removal and that affects our immune system so we're trying to get stuff out and the breath is helping us move it out of our system and breath also moves our lymph. So when we're moving our breath, we're moving our lymph, we feel warmer, we're getting that stuff out quicker and quicker. <clears throat> and um, so you can do that at home. You can sit quietly, um, 10 conscious breaths per day. If you're in your car at the stop signs or red lights, every single time it's a red light, I would take a deep, deep breath and exhale and even turn turn your radio off or your your music off so you can focus on it um, or put something relaxing on but every chance you get whenever i would wash the dishes i would do conscious breath <clears throat> you can't breathe in conscious breath 24 hours a day it's just not possible so choose your times are you going to do it in the shower are you going to do it um first thing in the morning are you going to do it when you're in stop signs every time you're at a stop sign or red light when you're in your car are you going to do it perhaps when you're washing the dishes most of the times when you're working out you are breathing quite deep <clears throat> and so you are eliminating toxins while you do this so that is number one number three for priming your immune system it has to be you have to focus on this and yes i can tell you simple quick tips like purchase vitamin c high dose vitamin c during this time vitamin d really primes the immune system it actually makes a difference um the one we have in the office solar ad is my favorite it's liposomal um probiotics really help the gut that helps the gut uh, flora and your 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 helping to enhance the gut health um we have a lot of um micro micro um, nano minerals like copper gold silver silver really helps to kill uh, bacteria viruses things like that so I use like like to use gamma and copper gold silver that is amazing for even when you are sick it really primes the immune system but even preventing getting sick so copper gold silver um, and now we have a new product called silver pure and it's just a spray and you spray it like in the back of your mouth. I like to spray it on the tonsils. And so silver, the the nano nano micro mineral uh, metal has really uh, antiviral, anti um, 
bacterial property and so I really like that to prime the immune system um, and especially during like that's not something I would use every single day but I would use it during a cold flu season for sure so those two months copper spray a copper gold silver or silver spray is awesome vitamin D is awesome it is darker so you know it's getting darker so adding vitamin D Vitamin C is really, really, really good. Um, I had another one that I thought, oh, there's this spray that we have also in our office called Cold Q. It's a Chinese formula, and it actually has this like long spout that kind of sticks out like almost like a little um, rifle, and you just uh, point it at the back of your tonsils and you spray it, and that really helps to, um, because this is, this is like our real, real first line of defense is the tonsils. So it helps to protect the tonsils and anything that we breathe in. So um, you're protecting what you're breathing in. I would suggest always breathing from the nose because your nose is an ingrown filter. So the nostrils, the nose hair, um, warming of the air all happens from the nose and it filters your breath as you breathe it in. Um, so when you're doing your conscious breaths, try to do them from the nose, day to day, try to do it from the nose, but also all the supplements that I recommend that are sprays are always protecting your tonsils because it's like the first line of defense. So to recap, I would do, treat your gut like gold, get somebody to help you, it has to be done, <clears throat> treat your stomach acid, get off any acid suppressing medication if possible, but you can't do it by yourself. Usually you gotta get somebody to help you with it. It's, it's a lot to do. Number three, breathe every day. It's free, you can do it at home, you can do it in your car, and it's just like a deep conscious breath. Um, whoever's on this Facebook Live today, um, I'll let Annette know, but if you are uh, wanting, we have a conscious breath handout, and um, just let me know if anyone's interested. Um, you can email the clinic and just ask Annette, can I get the conscious breath handout that need to mention on the Facebook Live and we will email that out to you ASAP. And trust me, when you first start doing it, you will feel like you're going to suffocate. You'll feel like you actually can't get enough breath. Um, it's the it's the strangest feeling, um, but what I always say to people is nobody ever died from breathing, so just keep at it. You will... Um, so. It, so Donna would like it. Yes, well, I'll get that to you, absolutely. And then in the blog, we'll write out a little bit of the supplements that I recommend. Um, but get that handout from um, Annette and start to breathe every single day. It makes a tremendous difference because I know most of us are in fight or flight, whether you feel it or not, the whole collective is going through it. Um, during the start of the school year, we could not keep our nervous system and anxiety medications and remedies on the shelf. There was just so much going on for moms and kids and parents in general and <clears throat> just entering into the cold flu season with some uncertainty. <clears throat> So the human um, reaction to stress is usually hold your breath, almost concave your chest, hold your breath. Um, when somebody's talking to you when we're in shock, all of a sudden people will start holding their breath. So it's just this like primal thing we do for protection. And if you can learn to override that, like, hey, I haven't breathed properly, um, or I'm taking shallow, shallow breath. Um, when you can override that, it is a natural knee-jerk reaction. Um, it's taken me years to learn how to breathe. So I did all the natural remedies, um, did everything, but I never was taught how to breathe properly. That, I actually had to take a course. <laughs> Unbelievable, but yes, I took a course. Um, I flew to Mexico to learn how to breathe, um, and it really changed my life. And he caught so many things, like right off the bat. He's like, anytime somebody talks to you, you stop breathing. Um, you'll sit and you'll breathe, not breathe. And what he meant by not breathing is like just shallow, shallow breath for, he's like for minutes and minutes and hours at a time. And then once in a while I would take a, <sighs> but I, and I recognize that during my practice, I would, um, listen to patients so intently and think that I was like being so present and conscious that I actually didn't breathe the whole time. The whole day I would see patient after patient and I wouldn't breathe. So learning how to breathe changed my entire life, um, let alone, you know, all the undos to correct my lungs and my asthma and all that. That wasn't, that was amazing, but you gotta learn how to breathe too. So that little, um, that little um, handout will help 
for learning how to breathe and 70%. So think about when you're sleeping, we gotta get you to sleep well too. That's a huge part of the immune system. I could go on and on. But when you're sleeping, deep sleep, so my mom just said hi, say hi to my mom. Um, when you're sleeping, deep, deep sleep, you are breathing. So we're releasing a lot of toxins when we breathe too. So you have to sleep properly. Get enough sleep and breathe properly. You can't forego the basics. Um, you can't like sleep four hours a night and then pop a bunch of vitamin C. If that's your job, if that's, you know, you're on your third job and you have to do this and that's just the reality, then yes, by all means, like take the supplements and things like that to um, help your immune system because that's a necessity. But if you're doing it because you're watching Netflix or, you know, really love this next episode and then you're waking up early and you're tired, you're missing a huge window for boosting your immune system. And those are all things that we can do at home even before you start to supplement. But if you do start to supplement, I would say copper, gold, silver, gamut in those little tablets. I would say uh, probiotics. I would say solar D or NAD, vitamin D. And the silver spray is really amazing for the throat. I know that's like one of our first lines of defense. Um, and then I would also say the cold Q is really, really good too. We used to have um, from Physica this spray called Throat THT spray and that was incredible. Um, I would use it every day before practice, every day after. And um, usually I get hit in my throat if something's about to start. It was like nothing, it was, it was incredible. Um, <clears throat> but because of health restrictions in Health Canada, that company is getting hit really hard and they don't wanna lower their standards of where they source their products. So a lot of their products are on back order. Unfortunately, they don't have that one. Um, oh, but they do have another one called Green Temple, and that's from the same company. I already noted that too. Green Temple is a bunch of green herbs. It tastes horrific, but it really, really boosts the immune system. So vitamin C, gamma and copper, gold, silver, vitamin D, um, the silver spray, cold Q spray, and then um, green temple is really good. It's really, really good. <clears throat> we do have some astragalus too. So astragalus is a really um, awesome Chinese herb for immune boosting. I think it's called cold quell. Um, that one might have been <clears throat> blocked by Health Canada too and we might have a replacement, but um, cold quell is really good too because it's high, high astragalus, which is boost your immune system. We just got in liver bitters, so those have some immune boosting herbs in there too. You can take liver bitters, um, and that's just a bitter herbal concoction that you take before meals, and there's a little bit of um, hydrastis in there, which is um, golden seal, which also helps to kill viruses and bacteria too. So, does that help? I hope that helps. Uh, does anyone have any questions? I know I just rambled really fast, but um, I wanted to make sure I got everything I thought out. So as always, I'm always about the foundation. You gotta do the foundation first. And you can do that in uh, like the same time as doing the immune boosting stuff. But if you just do the immune boosting stuff and don't do the foundations, every year you will literally be uh, a terror state because you are at the mercy of what's going on. If you treat yourself every single day, every single day, 12 months of the year, you're not susceptible. It is almost like a superhuman immune system. You're really not susceptible. I have really zero concern right now. like, And I have a history of chronic asthma. So my immune system, I treat it like gold. Um, <clears throat> I really do. So it's about every single day so you're not left at the mercy of what's in the outside world. Uh, you gotta be careful. I'm not saying being, I'm not, I, I'm careful what I go. I'm not saying just be like, you know, flippant, but um, you have to have the foundation. Um, you can't have just like a backed up, clogged up toilet and spray for breeze everywhere and things that your breath, bathroom smells like fresh and so clean. Um, that's the analogy really um, of using something natural and um, trying to put it on the disease model. It doesn't work. You can't mix the two. I've done a talk on that too. I'll probably do another one because you can't mix the two. Everyone tries. You can. It's two distinct models and they work really well together, but you can't mix. You can't. Um, yeah. 
So Donna says, great info at this time. I will get you guys, just email um, Brio Health at your Brio Health and just say, please hand, send me the handouts and Annette will get you the conscious breath handout. We'll email that out to you guys for sure and start to do it. It makes a huge difference and don't feel um, surprised if you feel like you're going to suffocate when you breathe. When I first did it, I thought I was going to like not get enough, enough oxygen. I thought I was suffocating. It's so fascinating to, to think that the whole day I didn't breathe properly and then I'm actually breathing and I was just like, I'm not getting enough air. I have to go back to my old non-breathing way. So it's very interesting. Um, any questions before I sign off? I will do a blog as well, listing these products. Um, any questions? I can answer one or two before I pop off. So Rubino is like watching. Thank you, Rubina. She said hi. Donna is always awesome having you join. I love it. Um, great info. Anything else before I pop off? I gotta go for my walk and try and do 10K steps a day. And um, that also is really helping the immune system, getting outside. So there's so many things, but getting outside, even when it's raining during this time, just if, you, if you're if you not feeling sick and you're bundled up, um, go outside. Even if you're not able to walk, put a, put a little chair in your backyard or on your porch and just sit outside. Love the info, says my mom. Awesome. Okay, anyone else, anyone else? Go outside, 10K steps. You don't have to do 10K. It's not about being like per perfectionistic. It's like sit outside with a jacket on and an umbrella. If you have a little porch, you can just sit there too. Breathe fresh air. Do your conscious breath out there. You could do that. That would be awesome. Uh, does grounding help the immune system? Grounding completely helps the immune system. So, um, oh, Sanjeev just uh, logged on to you. Welcome, Sanjeev. Um, I think it's first time watching, so welcome. Um, grounding totally helps the immune system. I'm not certain people are gonna do that during winter, though, um, because it's basically like touching the ground with your bare feet. If you do it and you're in good health standing already, go for it. It would be amazing. You could walk barefoot in your backyard. You could um, walk on the beach barefoot, even if it's raining. Oh, that would be incredible. Like, totally incredible. Yes, it does help the immune system. Getting outside alone, even if you didn't take your socks and shoes off, just getting outside um, every day a little bit will, will really, really, really change your immune system. It transforms it completely, completely. Nature and the um, vibration of nature and heart resonance consciousness is the same. So, you know, we're not off balance when we're in nature. We're outside, we're, we're in, in alignment. We're not in this like, you know, inside, exhaust, exhaust fumes, this, that, in my car. Um, we're outside, we're in alignment, we're in resonance. So, awesome, getting lots of hearts from Donna, which is so awesome. Um, I will be on again. So Sippy just logged on. I'm finishing up for tonight. Um, I will log on again in October. I think I have two Facebook Lives and a Masterclass in October. So stay tuned for those. I think the dates have been wrong on the, um, on the newsletters, but don't worry, we'll correct that. So um, yeah, awesome everyone. Thank you so much for logging in. Have a great night, great dinners. Try some breathing, email the clinic if you want the handout, we will get that to you. Um, lots and lots of love and hearts. Thanks everyone, bye.